Hey everyone, this is Book of Catherine. It is July 19th, 2023. It is the 30th day of the fourth month on the Lord's calendar. And at sunrise this morning in Iceland, which is the beginning of the day, so for them it's the beginning of the 30th day, um, at sunrise the volcano did something interesting. It began to increase, as you can see from the title here. This is from Iceland's own uh, Afar TV. So July 19th, it says sunrise at the Iceland volcano. So this is when sunrise begins. And as you can see, uh, the lava begins flowing faster. And also, if you notice in the bottom right hand corner, it says that it is the ninth day, day nine of the eruption. So, not only is it the 30th day of the fourth month, which, mean, which means tomorrow, July 20th, is the new month, the fifth month, um, but today's also the ninth day of this eruption. So, nine, as you know, is three times three. It's completion for the Lord. Well, look what happens just 30 minutes into sunrise as the sun's coming up and over, overhead. You'll see that this increased eruption starts to lead into the something that I've never seen before and other volcanologists haven't seen before. I'm not a volcanologist, but the volcanologists I follow, they haven't seen this before either. But this enormous crater, it's an absolutely immense crater. As you can see, it's already erupted 10 million cubic meters of lava. So this is being filmed from high up on a ridge. They can't get anywhere near it. But as you can see, the eruption is picking up even more. And where you see it spilling off to the left there, that's the west side of this volcano. And the channel, most of it's going to our right, which is its southern, um, it's a southern exit point. So now the lava started to exit out also off to the west. And then the eruption continues to expand as the sun rises higher and higher. So not only are we at sunrise on the last day of the Lord's fourth month, um, and four stands for the four winds, the four corners of creation, so north, south, east, west. Um, but lava begins to travel towards the west, and we start to see channels start to form as it's erupting. Kind of brings back memories of 2021 when the lava overflowed and swallowed the entire volcano. But what's going to happen here is this eruption is going to start pushing so hard that just as the sun finally comes up, you can already see the sun starting to catch the light of the, the gas, the volcanic gases that are erupting to the west. They're starting to catch some light. We're being able to see the volcano more clearly. Um, and let's see here. I don't want to, there we go. I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting your time. So what you see is uh, off to the Northwest there, we start to see a path of lava that's erupted over. And at first it looks like it's just spilling off to the Northwest. But what you'll see is that this it keeps spilling and you realize that there's a crack there, that there's a crack that's formed where lava is spilling out. And now we see another crack start to form. And what you start to realize is that this is not a collapse of the crater. This is an explosion of the crater. And we see the Western wall of the crater, not just split in half, but it literally falls down off to the west, the entire western portion of that volcano just lifts off to the left, an entire flow of lava just continues. And what's interesting about that is, I'll show you this, so that happened at sunrise on the ninth day. So on the day of, you know, the number of completion, we see something we've never seen in a volcano before. We see it erupt so much that the western wall is shot off basically and it goes down and sinks and two cracks did it a crack to the north northwest and a crack to the west so 
um, I'll show you why that's interesting. That's interesting because the of this map here, the western wall of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Remember the crater, uh, sorry here, the crater, it, you know what, I can actually use a pen and do this. This is the crater right here. We've talked about this, right? So that's the crater. But what we know is that the magma chamber goes all the way across here. Like it's this giant magma chamber that stretches around this far. And so the western wall of it, if we notice, um, if you pay attention, it kind of follows the same way and the same pattern going out the sides and down here and then off to the north here. Um, same way as we saw in Iceland, the same way. And these are earthquakes. This entire earthquake section that I've been watching for so long, like I've been pointing out that this has been happening, these entire big tracks that I said, I started calling it out. I said, why is that starting to happen? And why is this starting to happen? And then I started to notice that this started to happen. And now this has started to happen. And why is there all of this? I've just been trying to figure all of that out for a while now. And um, then I saw what happened over in Iceland today on the ninth day of its eruption. And I just realized that, yeah, that's the western wall of the volcano coming off. And, hey look at that that's the northwest crack and a western crack and isn't that the same as the northern crack and the western crack here on the yellowstone volcano that could be seen as what's happening here on the western side and that would actually match what we heard in thomas chan's uh prophecy would seem to be the prophecy in the first chapter of thomas chan's adam and eve story that ben davidson illustrates for us on his suspicious observers channel he says the next one will be on the atlantic but the way i see things developing is that it's actually chan thomas's was a prediction of the future of what was actually coming so this could be seen as the western flank and that's in the movie this is how it ends actually has this scenario which is why i'm encouraging people all the way to las vegas which is um Las Vegas is right here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So that's Las Vegas. There's a whole line going up to Las Vegas. It's not just there. Or wait, this is Colorado. No, this is Las Vegas uh, right here. Doesn't matter. All the way to Las Vegas, in my opinion, it doesn't matter about my opinion. It's not just my opinion. But basically, my friends and I were evacuating all of us from over there. That also includes Vancouver. Just everyone... You know, in this entire section, we're all evacuating our holdings and getting our friends out. I mean, think about it. San Francisco has already done that, haven't they? They've already, San Francisco is, like, isn't it right here? And 30 to 40 percent of the city is gone, you know, evacuated. So they know, the people of San Francisco know, you know, or at least that's this. Remember, this entire section right here, this California, remember... The major, the major uh, insurance companies have pulled out all state, all state insurance, and uh, what is it? All state for the United States. These are the big players: all state and State Farm. State Farm insurance companies. They've nixed California. They won't make any new policies in California at all. And this would explain why they know that this is. What from the data I've seen, this is sinking slowly into the ocean and just going slowly, slowly. But that's been increasing as earthquakes are up 19,000 percent. I mean, no one wants to talk about that, but earthquakes worldwide are up. I've done the calculations. It's minimum 19,000 percent up worldwide. My actual, my guesstimations after they started hiding and censoring stuff, I actually think they're up 30 um, how should I say, I think they're actually up 30,000%. I think earthquakes globally are up 30,000% since, uh, March of, I'd say, 2019. So, March 2019, I think they're up about 30,000%. I think that's where we're at, if not, if, if not, definitely since March 2020, since COVID, for sure. 
So anyway, they're way up. And so this definitely could happen as much as we don't want it to happen. But of course, in my opinion, the only way out is the new Jerusalem, right? And going to the new earth. So you can talk to the Lord and get out and save yourself. That's the new ark. This is the new ark. Noah's ark was for Noah and his family, but the Lord through Jesus has made everyone clean. So anyone who wants to can go on the new ark. That's why this thing is 1400 miles squared because it's meant to save billions. So I suggest you go there and you have to ask the Lord in order to go. Um, but that's it. And then you can go. You're, you're already cleansed. And so you just have to ask the Lord to go and follow him and have the guts to follow him. I encourage you to do that. But if you don't have the guts to do that, then can you at least, you know, at least evacuate, you know, and go that direction at the very least. Anyway, that's what my friends and family are doing. And that's what we're recommending to the people we work with. So it's up to you. I love you guys so much. Bye.